The ocean is the origin of all life on planet Earth. From frozen polar seas to tropical coral reefs, the ocean supports a vast amount of life across a myriad of different habitats. We too depend on the ocean for food and income, for transport, for inspiration. The ocean also regulates our global climate. It absorbs carbon dioxide and produces oxygen. Every second breath we take comes from the ocean. Seawater covers more than two thirds of the globe's surface, yet 95% of this liquid realm remains unexplored. A groundbreaking scientific project is bringing together more than 100 researchers from 20 different institutions. Bioacid investigates how a range of marine habitats and organisms are affected by ocean acidification. Our emissions of carbon dioxide are causing the ocean to change. They contribute to its warming on the one hand and are turning the seawater more acidic on the other. Many forms of marine life depend on calcium carbonate shells or skeletons. This includes corals, sea urchins, starfish and many types of microscopic life. Acidification will affect them and change ocean ecosystems in turn. But in what ways and to what extent? Plankton is the collective name for the countless tiny organisms adrift on ocean currents. They are the foundation of all marine food webs and changes in this largely unseen world will have major knock-on effects throughout the ocean ecosystem. Coccolithophores are single-celled organisms found across the world's ocean. They have an exoskeleton made of calcareous plates. By taking up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and producing a climate cooling gas, they form a vital part of the ocean system. But it will be harder for them to grow under more acidic conditions. Too hard, perhaps, for them to survive. Colder waters absorb more CO2. This means the effects of acidification will come faster and be more pronounced in polar regions. In the microscopic life of the Arctic, these effects are already becoming apparent. The tiny and elegant pteropod is sometimes called the sea butterfly. These miniature snails form calcareous shells, which are harder to grow in an acidifying ocean. This means that pteropods, an important source of food for fish, are at risk of disappearing from the ocean altogether. For fish, ocean acidification may not just affect their food supply. It may have more direct impacts as well. Researchers believe that acidifying waters will force fish to spend more energy on regulating their biochemistry. This comes at the expense of their reproduction and growth. Even the behavior of fish can be affected. All of this has great implications for the survival prospects of certain species. The habitat on which fish and other organisms depend can also be affected by ocean acidification. In the waters off the coast of Norway, bioacid scientists are looking at reefs formed by cold water corals. Using a combination of manned submersibles and lab experiments, Researchers are trying to find out how these corals may cope with future conditions. Their counterparts in the tropics form the basis of the most diverse of all marine ecosystems. These coral reefs cover only 1% of the world's ocean, but are home to a quarter of all marine species. In acidifying waters, corals already threatened by rising temperatures, will find it harder to form their skeleton. This coral reef in Papua New Guinea is growing on an active volcanic system. 
the carbon dioxide bubbling up from cracks in the sea floor is making the water here more acidic. These conditions have created a natural laboratory to study the impacts of acidification. At sites with higher CO2 levels, researchers have found that species diversity declines. But some corals, such as the massive parites, are able to survive in these conditions. The findings here provide a glimpse of what the future may hold for coral reefs worldwide. There are species and habitats that may actually flourish in the more acidic ocean of the future. These include sea grasses and certain types of jellyfish. They may benefit from higher temperatures and the additional carbon dioxide dissolved in seawater. This will give them a competitive advantage over other species. The same is true for the cyanobacteria, sometimes called blue-green algae. These organisms can produce toxins which are very dangerous for human health. Massive changes to our ocean ecosystems are already underway. The speed of these changes is greater than ever before in our planet's history. This means life in the ocean will find it hard to adapt through evolution. Moreover, the effects of ocean acidification cannot be seen in isolation from other environmental factors, such as rising temperatures, overfishing and pollution. Bioacid has therefore taken an interdisciplinary approach. The project involves not only oceanographers, marine biologists and chemists, but economists and social scientists as well. This integrated research maps the impacts of acidification on us and will provide the tools to policymakers to take action and mitigate impacts. Our fate as human beings is intertwined with that of the ocean. We depend on it for our survival and now the ocean's well-being depends on us to take action. A drastic cut in carbon emissions is the only path to give the ocean a chance at recovery. Science will deepen our understanding of the changes that are to come and so help us rise to the challenges posed by ocean acidification. <laughs>